Hello everyone. I've been getting a lot of questions about the um, vacuum system I use in my vacuum former and here it is in its basic components. Um, I removed one of the air tanks that I use because it's redundant and not necessary for this, exa this example. So when you're using a vacuated uh, type of um, vacuum former, so you're not using like a vacuum, you're using a stored vacuum charge that you are going to release. Um, there's basically a couple components. So in the yellow you can see I have here an 11 gallon air tank and I also have this vacuum pump attached to it. And the basic workflow is this bottom uh, hose here will go to the bottom of the platen. This hose here is just another one that goes to another air tank to put these two air tanks in parallel with one another. So what I do is I turn on the vacuum pump making sure that this valve is in the open state which it is right now and this valve leading to my platen is in the closed state. So what this will do is make sure that it's not sucking air through from the bottom of the platen, basically just ruining your vacuum system. And this one is open, obviously, to allow the air that's currently in here to be evacuated through the system and out. So the vacuum pump is basically attached via a small PVC hose with a couple barb connections. In my system, I mainly use regular galvanized steel uh, three-quarter inch uh, FIP thread uh, attachments and I use uh, three inch ball valve valves both here and at the platen level. So you'll see here that in the silver there's a small barb attachment there and this is three-quarter I'm pretty sure I adapted it down to half an inch female and then I was able to find a quarter inch barb to half inch male uh, fitting for that right there. Obviously I'd love to go from three quarter inch right to the fourth inch barb but sometimes some of these intermediary um, fittings are needed because that's an unusual request to go from something that large to something that small so sometimes you'll need to step down kind of in the same manner how I had to step it down here. So when your plastic is heating up you're obviously already running your vacuum charge. You're turning it on and the air is evacuating out through here. I'll then watch my vacuum gauge right here if it'll focus, there we go. And this is in, as it says in the bottom, inches of mercury. and you can start vacuum forming, most people say around negative 20 inches of mercury, but I really in my system like to go above negative 25. Most of my pulls are actually around negative 28 inches of mercury, or as basically as far as I can get it. You want to make sure to not overheat or put strain on your vacuum pump, and it's also important if you want a good vacuum that you also keep good fluid in it and, and at the appropriate level. You can see in this one it has a sighting glass in the front with a minimum and maximum level. You want to make sure that you keep good fluid in here and sometimes when you get these uh, Chinese pumps it'll come with some pretty bad fluid. I went to uh, Advanced Auto and got some um, the specific to this um, fluid that'll go in it. Um, some of the auto stores usually sell those types of fluid because um, a lot of people use these kinds of vacuum pumps to recharge their AC system. So they are a good resource to find materials for these pumps. Um, but once I put a better fluid in here, instead of the fluid that it had came with from Amazon, um, I found that it basically didn't burn any of the fluid. I found it uh, going through a lot of the fluid that came with it, but once I put better new fluid in it, it seemed to remain a lot more stable and I have to top it off a lot uh, in, less frequently. So the system is on and it's evacuating the air out of the cylinder, basically creating a vacuum which is what you need to pull the plastic down onto the platen and 
onto the mold you've put onto the platen. When you have reached your high vacuum level, what I do is I turn this valve off and close it and simultaneously also turn off my pump down here. I added this valve because I figured out that if I didn't have the valve, the pressure from the system would actually start sucking the vacuum uh, pump fluid up into the system because the vacuum strength here was stronger and, well, maybe. It's basically probably coming down to the tolerance of the seals on the piston on this machine. But it would basically suck the fluid in. So what I did is I added a valve here to basically contain the system. So there's a valve closed here. There's a valve closed here. So all the system charge remains in this cylinder right here. And I turn off this pump at the same time so I don't do any undue stress on this machine. And sometimes it'll even go so far as to pull this line and relieve any uh, pressure that's in this line since it's obviously at that point contained fully in the system. So your plastic's heated up and you put it over the mold or the buck and what I do from there is you'll usually see me uh, operate this with my foot, but this at this point is the main valve and is holding back all of your vacuum pressure. So once the plastic has settled over the buck, throw the switch. This will be connected to the bottom of your plan. And all of the air that's stuck underneath the plastic and in your platen will quickly be equalized by the system. And obviously at this point, we have more vacuum than we have air. So the result is the plastic being pulled tightly around your buck. And that's pretty much it. When I would do the next pull, I would reset the system by closing that valve, opening this valve, and obviously reattaching this quarter inch PVC hose if I had taken it off. And you're pretty much ready to go again for your next pull. I hope that gives you a little more insight into my system. I hope that's thorough enough. Um, the parts list for this entire, I guess you'd call it contraption, is in the description of the original video. And I'll go ahead and put it in the description of this video as well. As always with my other videos, if you do have any questions about the system and the parts that are in it, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you.